Hey everyone, David here with TND Sports Cards. I'd like to welcome you back to our newest weekend way back. And today we are going to go way back to 1976 and in explore some cards from that year from the four major sports. We have packs representing each one. Um, the baseball set is highlighted by Dennis Eckersley's rookie card, along with lots of stars and Hall of Famers. There are some other rookie cards that names are escaping me at the moment, but um, I'm sure if we come across any, we'll uh, hopefully recognize that. But as I said, there's lots of stars, lots of Hall of Famers in here, uh, lots of good stuff to look for, and hopefully we can find some of that. The uh, basketball set is... It's mainly highlighted by just lots of uh, big names like uh, Julia Serving, Kareem, Pete Maravich, uh, just to name a few. Uh, the uh, the big rookie card is David Thompson, uh, but as I said, this uh, this set is more uh, actually it's more about the big than it is anything else. Uh, Topps decided to make uh, super large cards, as you can see here, uh, in '76. Uh, it kind of mirrors what they did. With uh, baseball in the 60s, they had the Topps Giants, which I believe was in 64. It's either 64 or 65, but I think it was 64. Uh, these were a big hit with, uh, with the players, with the autographs. But I guess they weren't big enough of a hit because they went back to the regular size cards um, the following season. Uh, and hockey... Uh, not a huge set. We'd be looking for uh, Brian Trottier. I mean, that'd be cool uh, being a, a big Islander fan. That'd be pretty awesome to pull one of those. But, uh, you know, there's lots of uh, stars and Hall of Famers in here that we could uh, hopefully find something as well. And uh, 76, the, uh, the, the really the big set is the football. Uh, this is a uh, rookie-laden set along with tons of stars and Hall of Famers, and it's uh, highlighted by Walter Payton's rookie card, um, along with uh, several other big names, um, Jack Lambert, Randy White, Harvey Martin, uh, just to name a few. So uh, there'll be a lot of things uh, that we could uh, hopefully find in here that'd be pretty awesome. All right, so with that, I believe, actually, I think I will start with uh, with the basketball. So... Uh, Let's get into these and see what we can find. And these cards are big. And that's what the gum looks like. And what did they have? Uh, this is interesting. On the backs here for a basketball wrapper, they have an advertisement for a hockey garbage can or toy hamper as they worded here. Interesting. All right. So let's see what we got here. We have Corky Calhoun. And this is what the backs of the cards look like. Uh, very comprehensive. It has college statistics and pro, at least for Mr. Calhoun we do. And actually there was something here on how to play basketball. Very neat. Okay, we have Jim McMillan of the Buffalo Braves, who eventually became the San Diego Clippers, who are now the Los Angeles Clippers. I think they're only in San Diego for what, about three, four seasons, something like that. Okay, uh, next we have Butch Beard, who uh, I actually remember Butch being a broadcaster for the Knicks in the uh, early to mid-'80s. Um, I found him to be uh, quite entertaining. I liked him. I, I think he left the Knicks to take the, the Nets head coaching job. Um, I don't know what happened after that, but I think that was why he actually left the broadcast booth. Okay, so next we have Ed Ratliff of the Rockets, Fred Brown of the Sonics, and Mickey Johnson of the Bulls. All right, so we didn't really find any... Big stars or Hall of Famers there. I apologize if one of them is and I missed it. But uh, nonetheless, those are pretty cool, something different. Um, that's the first time I've opened uh, a pack of those, so that was neat. All right, so now we're going to move on to 1976 baseball. And 
Oh, cool. We got a Hall of Famer right to start out our pack here. Uh, Ted Simmons, who was recently inducted. That's a nice shot. That looks like Shea Stadium in the background there. And this is what the backs of the cards look like. Kind of tough to read. A little, uh, little dark. Sorry, with the shadows. This dark green color makes it a little difficult. That's nice. All right, so we got Willie Montanez, Dave Freisleben, or Freisel, Freiselbin. I'm sure it's Freiselbin. Padres team card. That's nice. Jim Lonborg, who was the 1967 American League Cy Young Award winner. You know, he had some arm troubles, but he rebounded and had a decent career for himself. Uh, Boog Powell, that's a nice one. Big home run hitter, mostly for the Orioles. I don't remember him even being on the Indians, to be honest. These cards are really nice, too, sharp. Jim Sunberg, who played well into the 80s. Jim Willoughby, Dave Goltz, and Terry Crowley. All right, so that rounds out our 1976 baseball pack. So now we will move on to our hockey pack. And again, the highlight of this pack is, or this set rather, would be a Brian Trottier rookie card if this pack lets us in. There we go. And we got a Ranger to start us off. Oh boy, look at that gum. Oh my Lord, wow. I have never seen this happen to gum. It almost completely dissolved into the front, oh my, wow. <laughs> Literally, I've never seen that happen to gum. I can't even imagine what that would possibly taste like. Why am I even thinking about it? And these cars are, uh, these, oh boy, this is not good. The gum might have melted all the way through this pack here. Oh, that's too bad too, because we have a Phil Esposito here. All right, we, I'm sorry, we have Ron Greshner. These are actually really nice. I like how plain it is or simple it is on the back. It has the one-year stats. Uh, it's nice to look at careers, but sometimes this is nice how it's kind of clean. And uh, All right. We're, looks like we got you – no, know, uh, they're coming apart a bit here. Okay. All right. So, yes, we have a Phil Esposito, which is a super nice card. These cards uh, have an awful lot of snow on them. I don't know if that is from – the gum sort of just melting through the pack. Um, I guess this kind of stuff can happen uh, once you have really old packs with gum, depending on the storage that they were in. Um, I watched our friend uh, Eric Jabs do a video of OPG baseball from 72, I think it was, and he had a really rough time with that, which was unfortunate because he pulled, when he did a later follow-up video on that, he pulled so many nice cards that were just unfortunately damaged. So it's a risk that you run uh, with these really old packs. Um, a lot of these packs that I have were stored in many places, like in the attic, in the basement, so who knows? Okay, we have Ron, Ron Shock of the Penguins. And our next one is, oh boy, look at that card after this. <laughs> yeah, the back of this Don Marcotte, Don Marcotte card is coming apart, which probably will get worse as we go through this here. Vic, oh wow, look at that. I don't know what this is here. Is that like an insert? Maybe that's an insert card. Vic Vanaski of the Kings. <laughs> yeah, I think these are... Probably just going to get worse. John Busick, the Bruins. Yeah, these are just wow. Oh, this is this is really unfortunate. This is a Rangers leaders card. 
Or no, it's not. It's actually just a power play goal leaders card, which I don't even know if we're going to get to see it. Uh, yeah, it's like the card on top of it is ripping. It's coming right through. It's got Phil Esposito and Pierre LaRouche, Dennis Potvin, Guy Lafleur. Yeah, that's, again, that's unfortunate. All right, we have a Sabres card here. Sabres team card, which serves as a checklist. Ugh, I hope my other ones of this year are not as uh, destroyed as this is, or these are. Dale Talon. I remember Dale Talon doing Blackhawks broadcasts, which he may still be doing. Okay, and our last card is Lee Fagolin of the Sabres, and he's got... All kinds of residue on him. Yeah, the gum just literally wilted away and went through the cards. So these are not really worth a whole lot. Actually, this was the best one out of the lot. And this one, for the most part, kind of survived. The surface feels pretty good. So, all right, we got fortunate with not finding... Anything that was of value destroyed, but at the same time, we didn't really find a whole lot. But the one decent card uh, is in pretty good shape. Okay, so now we're uh, going to move on to our football pack, which, as I said, could have any number of amazing cards in it. Okay, so we start out with John Ward of the Bucks. Earl Mann of the Lions, Ken Geddes of the Seahawks, C.L. Whittington of the Oilers, Ron Pritchard, so I got distracted, I saw the B there and I got excited for a second, Ron Pritchard of the Bengals, Fred Cox, Carl Garrett, Derwood Keaton, Fred Dreyer. We've pulled a few of his cards. Uh, he of the later fame of the TV show Hunter. And the last one is Bubba Smith. That's what the backs of these look like. I'm not sure if Bubba Smith is in the Hall of Fame. I'm actually not sure if Fred Dreyer is in the Hall of Fame. He could be too. I'll have to... Uh, check this out off camera. Actually, that bottom left corner looks a little, a little worn. All right, so nothing of uh, too huge uh, interest there. So, out of this lot, we found uh, the Fred Dreyer, Bubba Smith, uh, Phil Esposito, who definitely is a Hall of Famer, and Ted Simmons, who is also a Hall of Famer. So there we have 1976. Uh, unfortunately, that hockey pack was uh, pretty much destroyed, uh, but uh, we made the most of it. We got the cards separated, and uh, at least they were uh, pretty much all legible, except for that one uh, leader's card, which looks like if I try to separate it anymore, it's just going to rip it right apart. But uh, I would like to thank you all for joining us. Um, I enjoyed bringing this to you. I was looking forward to this one for a little while, so I'm glad we got to it. And uh, hopefully we can do this year again sometime down the road. Um, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. As I said, I enjoyed bringing it to you. And as always, please uh, hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, we will see you on Monday with our newest Modern Monday. And since we're nearing the end of the month, uh, we're getting into uh, spring training. We'll do a little more baseball. And we're going to bring you, uh, I believe, 2020 uh, Heritage High Number. I, I think we have, a, uh, we have a box of those. So we'll, uh, we'll get into that. So we will uh, see you then. So enjoy the rest of your weekend. And thank you for watching. Take care.